don't shuffle off. We have important business to conduct. Yeah, kitchen never. But Daisy needs to record the tide pool, so we can't really move. There's plenty of room on the beach for everyone. There's plenty of room on the beach for everyone. And run. This is the only Dune Surfer rated hover disc golf course in Malibu, and we've got to perfect our moves before tomorrow's tournament. Okay, we can just work around each other. Daisy, let's get your mic set up while Renee puts up the volleyball net. Aye, aye. Dude, now what? <laughs> Super mature guys. Things went downhill from there. <laughs> of course, we tried to take the high road. Oh, fantastic! <coughs> oh, did that block your shot? Sorry. Oh, come Seriously? On. Come on. Trey wanted to look cool in front of his friends. Fine. I knew all I had to do was get him alone, and we could work out a compromise. So? I will never compromise. No dogs allowed on the beach? By order of Malibu City Council? But the wiener pups love the beach. So does Taffy. <gasps> Whoa! Sorry, girl. You can't be on the beach anymore. He wants more tea. Hmm. Aha! There you are, Blissa. You're the guest of honor at my tea party. Time to put on your crown. <laughs> it's crazy, so unfair, totally ridiculous. Hey girls, what's unfair? What are you talking about? Apparently dogs aren't allowed on the beach anymore. Well, wait a sec, I just got an email about that. The Malibu City Council voted three to two last night to ban dogs from all city beaches. It says here the law was proposed by Ron Slusher. Ron Slusher? Didn't he used to work for Whit Reardon? Ah, now it makes sense. Puppy must be behind this. I don't care if it's the law. It's wrong, and somebody needs to do something about it. Well, there is an election coming up. You should do it! Run for office? I did run for kindergarten hall monitor, and lost to the class gerbil. She had amazing charisma. But this time you could be the gerbil! I mean the winner! And that'd be a huge win for the dogs of Malibu! You know what? I'll do it. If you'll be my campaign manager. Are you kidding? I'm so in. Let's do it. We got this. All right, yeah. Hey, Stace, how's the training going? OK, I guess. We've moved on to simple household chores. Wait, no way. Dogs can do chores? That I can get into. Homework too? Cause that would be sweet. Skipper. Skipper! Uh, what? I need your help for a second. Hold this. A rope? Now bite down. Uh, seriously? Why can't I just hold it? Because puppies don't have thumbs. Ugh. <sighs> Perfect! Pay attention now. Skipper, open! What a good girl. See? Can you do that? <sighs> Maybe you'd better get down on all fours. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. But don't you want a treat? Sheesh. <laughs> These well-trained pups prove that dog really is man's best friend. Look how easy it is. You can do that, can't you? You can? <laughs> Great, let's do this. Wow, did you teach them that? I guess so. I was trying to train them to be service puppies. <laughs> Looks like the puppies want to be acrobats. <gasps> hey, do you think the puppies could perform in our circus for Chelsea? You have a circus? How did I not know that? It's just a small one. I wanted to make it up to Chelsea after we missed the big purple one. I guess entertaining others counts as service. We're in. <laughs> What's the matter? I promised Chelsea I'd take her to the Big Purple Circus, but then I lost track of the days and we missed it. Ouch. Yeah, she tried to put on a brave face at the time, but look. Oh, woe is me. Boo! <laughs> wow, 
Even the puppies can't cheer her up. I have to find a way to make it up to her. How? I mean, it's not like you can just put on a circus. <gasps> Ken, that's a great idea! I'll put on a circus! Being dressed like a clown isn't so bad. Kinda itchy, but not bad. Hey, help! Look out! Whoa. <laughs> it's really hot there. When did all this get here? It's just Barbie's haunted house stuff. Nothing to do with being a vampire. Anyone want a snack? I made garlic knots. No thanks. Ah, too garlicky for me. <gasps> they don't like garlic? They're all vampires! Why would a vampire make garlic knots for other vampires? Hey guys, check this out. See? No reflection. Sweet. Cool. Oh, um, what was that? I don't know. Did you see that? I didn't. That's the problem. They don't have reflections. Tell me there's another explanation. I will. As soon as I think of one. These smart mirror effects are great, Teresa. Thanks. But don't you think it's a little dark in here? Haunted houses are supposed to be dark. <laughs> Not afraid of clowns anymore, huh? I checked around for the source of the footsteps, but couldn't find anything. Maybe it was the wind? What? Isn't that what you're supposed to say when you hear footsteps while trapped in a haunted house the night before Halloween? Guys, relax. The dream house isn't haunted. And we're not... Lockdown mode activated. Trapped? No one is leaving tonight. Okay, so you kind of sort of made them think you'd kept up with your violin playing. And the truth is, it's been a while. Uh, a long while. And I've got this awful feeling they're going to ask me to play a song at our New Year's celebration. Well, if it's only one song, I bet we can find one you remember. Do you still have your violin? Yeah, somewhere. Back at my house. This is what I've been waiting for! I'll drive you! You really think? Trust me, you'll be fine. At least I thought she'd be fine. I mean, playing an instrument is just like riding a bike. You never really forget how to do it. came up with some themes. There's a pirate ship. Oh. oh. Choo-choo station. Ooh. Love that. Or, since we all know how much Chelsea loves cupcakes. No. Too soon. Yeah. Way too soon. Oops. Yeah. Sorry. They're great ideas, Nikki. Seriously. But we need something different. Something that really feels like Chelsea. Actually, I have an idea. Cool. Fire away. All right. If you bring this up over here. Oh, and then you put this down here. See what I'm doing? Uh huh. Oh yeah. And maybe something like this over here. Yes, that's it. You're a mind reader. Love it. It's perfect. Sweet. Great. So Nikki, Teresa, and I will clean and prep the clubhouse. Stacy and Skipper, I need you two on Chelsea patrol when she gets back. Can you go plan some time-consuming distractions for her? Aye aye. Operation surprise, Chelsea. Is a go. I'm the mayor. You got elected? Huh, that's kind of cool. Come with me, Mayor. Your first appointment is here. Hello. Ah! <sighs> Ow. Award-winning journalist reporter Barbie. Nice to meet you, Mayor. Any comment on the crisis? I'm the Mayor and I'm the reporter. In Future Town, anything is possible. Okay. So, wait. Did you say there was a crisis? This just in. Mayor Barbie seems unprepared for the pending disaster. No, it's just... What are you? Recognize these. Your greatest accomplishment. Future Town's new rapid transit system, a recently opened home for homeless pets, our beautiful picnic park for family celebrations, all because of you, Mayor Barbie. Because you really care about the people of this city. I do, but you heard it here. She says she cares, yet has no plan to protect us all from a totally weird thing in the sky headed right this way. What are you talking about? As first reported right here, a weird giant object is hurtling towards Future Town. I'm sorry, uh, but I don't have a weird giant object listed on the mayor's schedule for today. Better double check that. I just reported. Oh, here it is. 2 p.m. Weird giant object headed for Future Town today. Huh. How did I miss that? This can only mean one thing. That I'm fired? Wow. Weirdness is sort of in the air today. No. 
it means that if I'm mayor, I need to deal with this. Can you get me more information on the weird thing in the sky from a reliable source? Like maybe a scientist who knows about planets and galaxies and space. But... Mayor Barbie, come quick! You've got to see this! beloved family camper had taken its last road trip. This is all my fault. I must have forgotten to set the emergency brake. What am I going to tell mom and dad? They'll understand. No one was hurt. It was just an accident. Accidents happen. But this is a huge accident. Our camper, our wonderful camper. I need to fix it. How? Unless your allowance is way more than mine. It's not, is it? I've been saving for my job at the water park. But there's no way I have enough money to buy a whole new camper. I know how we can get the money. This is a crazy idea. So crazy, it just might work. Assuming we ever get to the front of the line. Hey, you there! Family of the year! Step right up to the front of the line! You think you can outsmart me? <laughs> Come on, give it back. Whatever. I don't need a stupid key. I've got the power of strategy. Let me out! Warning. Intruder alert. Huh? I'm not intruder. I'm a reardon. You're lucky I'm even in this house. Correction. Intruder with attitude. Activating protection procedure. Protection what? Mommy! <laughs> have to call Mommy! No, no, no! Trey! What are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be feeding those dogs? I'm stuck! This house trapped me! I can't even hear you! You sound miles away and hanging up. Oh. Live from beautiful Malibu, California, it's a special edition of Squabble, Squabble, Squabble! The show that brings people together, tears them down, then builds them back up, while turkeys gobble, 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 we... Squabble, squabble, squabble! <laughs> we have some very special contestants today, folks. Straight from winning Malibu's Family of the Year, it's Chelsea, Stacy, Skipper, and Barbie Roberts! <laughs> Will the pressure to win turn this loving family into a bickering batch of bad sisters? <laughs> or can they stick together to beat the game and win our fabulous treasure chest? <laughs> First up, the Bubble Race! Hit the mark, or we'll burst your bubble! <laughs> Ready, set, go! Ready? <laughs> it must be nice to have nothing on your mind but where to play next. Barbie! There's lots on Honey's mind! There's chasing butterflies, burying bones, learning new tricks. <laughs> oh, of course. And she has to protect us. Protect us from what? From lots of bad things that we have no idea about. Right, Honey? What kind of things? Hey, did you guys see Rookie's squeaky toy? No, sorry. So what kind of things? Well, I suppose it's okay to tell you this now. A few nights ago, while we were all asleep, DJ discovered a horrible sneaky plot. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Rookie, honey, put that down! Listen, something's going on with the squeaky toy. <laughs> The scary squeaky crocodile? It's an alligator, honey, not a crocodile. Squeaky crocodiles are mostly in Asia and Africa. I never trusted that thing. 
One day, I'm gonna grab it, and bite it, and chew it, and shake it! Ah! Violence doesn't solve anything, Rookie. What'd you see, DJ? I can't tell you out here. This calls for a top secret meeting. Hey, what's going on? Top secret meeting, Taffy. Oh boy, I love these. So then, they made their way to the secret hideout. So, the puppies talk to each other? Of course. What do you think, they write letters? Anyway, back to the story. Hey guys. Hey, hey Lola. I can't believe we get to see a movie in the park while we hang out in the camper, <laughs> right? I'm so excited. There is nothing I would rather do. Hey, so what was that text with the 18 million exclamation points about Skipper babysitting? Um. <clears throat> hey guys. Uh, what's this about a text? Well, I had to share the exciting news. Hence the exclamation points, more like five, that you're babysitting for the first time ever. Woohoo! What? Skipper babysitting? Yes, isn't it awesome? It's unbelievably cool. Thanks, I'm ready for it. Yeah, that's my sister. Calm, cool, and in control. Should we go? I have a prime parking spot all picked out. Let's do this. All set. Hey, Skipper. Hi, Barbie. This is baby Bonnie. Oh, this little nugget couldn't be sweeter. <laughs> hey, thanks. You can have a ball with this one. And even more with this one. Total firecracker. <laughs> Look at that. Two of them. I texted your mom about adding Johnny, didn't I? Or did I flick? Anyway, text her from the show. Have fun at the park. I didn't want to go, but Skipper wasn't asking me to stay. What was I supposed to do? I didn't want to undermine her confidence, but... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say I didn't have a good feeling about this. Nice moves. You ready for the big mascot challenge? <laughs> That's Coastal Chicken for you know it. Who is excited for Spirit Week? Yeah! All you freshmen, I'm Teresa, student body president, and this is Spirit Week. A week of fun challenges where we compete as a school for the coveted victory bell. Arch-Rivals, Empire Coast tie. Who just happened to have won the bell the last five years in a row? Stop the presses. Isn't that you? So what? I went there last year. Ugh, such a better school. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is this year going to be any different? Because this year, we have the smartest, the strongest, the toughest, the coolest, the bestest student body this school has ever seen! For the class of 96, they produced five Olympic gold medalists, two Nobel Peace Prize winners, and three Academy Award winners. But who's counting? We still have the most spirit ever! Now get out there, participate, and beat Empire Coast High! <laughs> Tammy went to Empire Coast High? That explains why she hates us. She doesn't hate us. She's probably just a little conflicted. It must be hard changing schools, especially if she was really happy at her old one. The best way to get over that is to be happy at this school. I think she'll get there. And we can help her see how cool it is. <laughs> okay, students, it's time to start the first challenge of Spirit Week, the Dance Marathon. Yay! When I blow this whistle again, you start dancing, and you keep going until you just can't dance anymore. Last dancer standing wins. Are both teams ready? Uh, where are the kids from Empire Coast High? Probably. Stace, this is totally nuts. 
For one thing, those shows are for people who are like ridiculously coordinated. Sun's all coming up. <laughs> she said, while doing 17 things at once flawlessly. You know, why not? Ow! Ow! I really wanted to be on the show myself, but who am I kidding? You're the food artist in the family. You're made for this, Barbie. Hey, when she's right, she's right. But because you're the challenger, you get to have a sideline coach. And that gets to be me, Stacy. You were made to coach. We could win! Hey, Barbie. Hey, what a nice surprise. But I can't really hang out. I've got so much homework and... Oh, um, uh, we... Actually, we're here for Skipper. She invited us to go to the vintage record shop. They've got a huge future base promotion going on because of the Flobby concert. Oh, that's great. Wanna come? Stop. Uh, it's okay. I have too much stuff to do, but you guys have a great time. Oh, we will. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I can't tell you guys. My friends were hanging out with my sister. Without me. No biggie, right? Well, it shouldn't have been, but somehow, it was. <laughs> Remember the pity room monster? <laughs> that was hilarious. Hi, Barbie. You missed so much fun. Remember? Cinnamon buns are our kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you guys had a great time. Um, so about tomorrow, I was thinking we could break up the heartthrob team couples marathon with a little baking, maybe some games. Speaking of games, you should have seen Skipper at the mall. We were all playing this new game on our phones, and she walked right into the fountain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your poor backpack. Here, I can buy it. <laughs> Knock-knock. Uh, reporting for community service. How's it going? Huh, that good. Where have you been? Out. I got your texts. All of them. What's going on? What's going on is our project has gone completely off the rails. Tammy bought the water park. Whoa, did not see that coming. But what's it mean to us? It means we can't hold our event there because Tammy is doing her own event. Which means we have no project unless we move it to somewhere else. And I'm trying to find a new place, but it's not easy on such short notice and... I could really have used a partner today. Where were you? I'm sorry, but I had something pretty important going on. This is important too. To me. Exactly. To you. Community service is your thing. Service is my thing? Community affects us all. Don't you get that? Ugh, you're being so dramatic. Give me one good reason why I should care about what goes on in this community. Oh. Uh, that was shaking. Then that is some serious shaking. was a great idea. I feel so much calmer now. <laughs> and up into warrior pretzel. <laughs> so cute. He thinks you're a real pretzel. Yeah, adorable. One question. The goats are potty trained, right? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Dad. I know. Uh, hello? This isn't a horse and buggy. Could you step on it? No, I did not you buy the water park just so I could spite someone else. <laughs> no, no, Dad. Don't sell it. Trust me, Dad. My community service project is going to be the perfect way to get the word out there about our new water park. I know you're doing that on purpose. Shelby, we have to go. Bye. Bye. Not that it 
giant sleepover isn't awesome, but I'm glad that's over. Now everything can finally go back to normal. Oh no! What? What happened? Everything is not back to normal. Look! The library! It's destroyed!